Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Hearts Farm 4, Kaiser Reich, United States of Democracy. So last episode we were plagued a bit by the blast from the past. Now all the events that once again appeared, which was unfortunate. But this time we managed to, well, this time I, I went in and basically removed all bad stuff from the Great Repression. I still want to see if I still can get the event that removes it. I just want to see... Well, what event number that is then, or what event that caused it, because I couldn't find it for some reason. And I get got irritated from it, so I removed all penalties, so I might be able to see it. Uh, yeah, so we, um, well, we liber <laughs> didn't actually liberate the United States, because we didn't know what to do. But, yeah, in two episodes now, overwhelming majority of you want me to go back to democracy, and I guess the republic. Um, leave Mexico under a friendly government, so I don't think we have to do anything. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, 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 we're not supposed to liberate him now. Oh, God damn it. Uh, no, continue military occupation. Authoritarian democracy. Oh, yeah, time to annex you again. God damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, or should we just release you and kill you once again? That might go a bit quicker. To be honest. Here. No, we'll probably make this mistake again. Let's just, well, annex them whenever we can. So here, let's continue. Let's just continue here our South American expansion while we do it. So you're going to slowly start this. Let's continue with researches. Yeah, let's grab both infantry techs. Why the hell not? And, oh yeah. Uh, someone asked me why I build infrastructure everywhere. It's, well... I get more, I get a faster speed to build everything else. So having everything at level 7 will help us buy level 7. And if I want to transfer troops, move troops, it's going to go faster. So there's lots of reason why I upgrade infrastructure everywhere. It might not be necessary since we, since we are United States. But why not have it faster when I can have it faster? Alright, everyone is gathering up right here. Our oh, supply is hor horrendous here. Uh, let's grab you and the rest of you. And you should just be deployed right there. That should help our supply situation a bit. Maybe not completely. Let's do this too. Let's upgrade you to, well, four extra. Four extra. Uh, this becomes three extra. And four extra. And then just put high, high prior on. Right that. Very good. That just helped me a bit. Right? Yeah, that one. Cool. Uh, so, supply there is currently still a bit bad. Uh, let's grab additional 5 units and just sign the line here behind that. Cool. So, um, as soon as Fate of the Union is done, we're gonna go na National Rehabilitation and the American Sinecus. Cincinnatus. Ah, whatever. 100 days, yeah. The game is still at least running very fast now, so even if it takes a while for us to actually do our focuses, it goes quite quickly. Come on, move along. How to look now? Still pretty bad. Hmm. Well, it's only pretty bad, and we will manage to finish at least some infrastructure project right now. So instead of having one factory with the Great Depression, we instead have 15 assigned on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 things, and additional 1, 9. So allow them or disallow them. We are America, and we are going to allow unions. Democracy. Everything, every choice we do now is for the greater, well, democracy. And that's exactly what we're gonna continue with now. We never destroyed anything during the Civil War and we won't do it now. Whatever necessary, we're gonna keep keep the nation as free as possible and we're gonna bring that freedom to the rest of the world. Actually, I might just boost part of popularity right here. Yeah, I think I just might boost it in Mexico once we finally switch ourselves. That'd probably be easiest. All right, uh, town artillery, you can be upgraded. Infantry weapons, you can be upgraded. And let's do all of that. And we also need to get some anti-tank guns. Let's just get one full line after this. So you are building more infrastructure. You're still getting some industry, which is nice to have. 
yeah. You should actually do that infrastructure um, industry too. Always have someone industry because our current industry isn't that big since we were very much delayed last session. 64. 64 military factories. That's not a lot. Another, well, six, 75 days. How's the war? Yeah, right, right, right. Communion France just went in and slaughtered both Spain and Germany. And they're probably going to continue cleaning up this entire faction. So, eventually, once we want to turn the entire, well, the entirety of Europe free, we can just go in, attack one faction, and clean them all up and free them all. Of course, we have to retake our own areas. Like, everything we have foreign claims on should once again be ours. Otherwise, than that. Everyone will keep their current nation size and uh, well, yeah, everyone else will keep their current nation size if they, well, if they accept democracy in their hearts, which I will force them to. Uh, is there anyone that has acceptable form right now? Yeah, social democrats, social liberals, or should, uh, no, everyone should accept our form of democracy. All other forms should be wrong. Yeah, I think that's the true spirit. The true spirit of knock knock who's their democracy. And um, yeah, that's exactly what we should do. Everyone that does not have the right form, which is our form, shall be well forced to see the see the light. And we, we're not going to do it by boost part popularity by anyone or to anyone except Mexico. Cool. Uh, another 30 days before we get to see what this is. I kind of was sad that I couldn't do it last time. Like, I couldn't decide. A lot of you wanted democracy, but I wanted to see. Still, it was some kind of push for American Caesar. There still was this time, but yeah, democracy was overwhelming, and yeah, I can't deny them the right path of democracy then. I was kind of leaning towards democracy too, so the fall of Madrid, the community securing its flank. Yeah, but the problem is they won't have a f everything will be a flank when it comes to America. The, when the American invasions are just gonna fill up this entire coastline, including Union or Britain. We're just gonna do a massive assault at the same time. So I'm gonna focus a bit more on, uh, well, normal infantry instead of doing my classical tank. I'm gonna do naval invasions and just fill up this entire front. And I think it can be pretty epic. You see an entire army of like 200 divisions leaving the shores and just fill up this entire area. Uh, so one thing we have to be very, very certain of and do is fix all the naval techs as quickly as possible and right now the last one is well it's in uh, when is it <laughs> 1944 so we might have to go oh actually we can't do the massive 200 division invasion we can 150 so that's fine uh so uh form of government now that we destroyed the rebellious csa and AUS, we can think about domestic affairs. Democracy was a really important part of value of American lives since the foundation of a country with crisis and rebellion, supporting the United significantly diminished. MacArthur, beloved by many, must decide whenever he wants to restore democracy or establish a dictatorship. It's out of the question. Viva la, viva la democracy. <laughs> uh, Douglas MacArthur becomes leader of the social conservative. Oh! Uh, MacArthur will be president, but he will leave day-to-day -day room to Senate and House. MacArthur will be president, but he will leave day-to-day -day room to House and Senate. Wait, these are ex exactly the same. Maybe because we removed something, one option was, well, removed from here, and they were just put to be the same. No, it's out of the question. Viva la democracy. And we are back to the Democratic Party, but with MacArthur as leader, which I very much approve of. And let's do the American <laughs> Cynicus. I'm saying this differently every single time. Cincinnatus. Uh, gains free escape. Alright, we have to well make sure that we remove them. And remove National Spirit, American Civil War. Um, move capital to Maryland. Gain National Spirit recovering from the American Civil War. Alright. Very good. Um, oh, actually, uh, let's double check. Oh, God damn it! We still have a penalty right here. Oh wait, this should be correct. This should be correct. We had this penalty before. It was just not the Great Depression. The Great Depression had already disappeared. So this is now correct. We have a correct penalty right now. <laughs> God, it feels wrong to say it. We have a correct penalty. Uh, on the red naval battles. Well, let's remove... Oh wait, wait. If we didn't have it already, then we must have had it removed. 
Let's see, is there anything right here that is actually removing that one that we have done? We can do it. No, I don't think so. So it might, we might still have had it. Oh, I know, here. That one removes it, so cool. Yeah, we should have had it, and uh, we have a right correct penalty right now. So the tiny bonus we had with no penalty at all, well, let's just say I compensate for the last episode where I completely were screwed by the Great Depression. Probably the, <laughs> the bonus I had well, is not like covering up everything we lost last time. So, uh, no faction, let's go on, one more day, very good, and let's declare war. Basically, I want to reach my, my own land, and well, you're in the way. Uh, I need to call you into this war, and let's remove you. Actually, how good are our divisions right now? Uh, not that good at all. We need to fix that. Uh, tech, yeah. Uh, let's see, Air Force, Air Force, Air Force. Yeah. Very, very, very nice. Uh, let's remove it. You're, sh sh you're just shaming yourself. Should still be fine. Uh, we're gonna win this. We're gonna win this a bit slower than I hoped for, but yeah, we're gonna win this. No problem. Uh, you? Oh, actually, that's not them. That's Caribbean Federation. All right. Uh, seven divisions right there. Yeah, that's kind of reasonable. Or not really, but of the seven, seven five divisions I have, yeah, that's kind of reasonable. How many divisions assigned in is 29? Yeah, then it's completely fine. Uh, you attack right here on the side and you attack right here that should increase combat with by quite a bit and should really help us in removing you excavation level three yes please but i want to do radio if i haven't i have already so what do i want to do yes i want to continue here with support uh, logistics company yes please that was your capital let's move in right here while you continue pushing Very good, uh, more more slots to be done. I think I wanna continue, no maintenance, we're not gonna need all, all any of you. And uh, let's do weaker level two then. And how much left do you have? Oh, quite a bit. No, god damn it, I threw it away. I was gonna select you, but I accidentally forgot or missed to unselect you, but we were apparently fine. You're attacking right here, which means I can retreat forward right here. And you, please continue to the capital, and because you're retreating for some reason. You must have been really beaten back if you're retreating more than one province. Come on, just grab it for them, grab it for them, grab it for them, well done. Is that it? No, it's not. Oh, right, you have taken all of my land. Oh, right, that was all of my land. So you don't actually get from it. Um, so, first of all, uh, liberate, uh, liber liberate Central America from two United States. I guess that's what it's called. Oh god, that's brilliant. If it's called Liberate, uh, we're not gonna take any land. Liberated. Yeah, wait, no. No. So, Liberate does not mean change government form or anything similar. So let's just jump back one quick save because I can just fight again, but come on. This goes much, 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 much faster. Okay, we can't pick Liberate, even though it sounds freaking awesome. So you should just well, continue pushing all this way. Ignore everyone else. Or apparently not. Uh, please remove that fact, remove this army if you can. And half of you can continue right here. Uh, let's see, I want two units to attack right here, so you will delay those units, so you can just continue marching. You are breaking that one, you should take two units and attack here no so north, so you can continue. And then we'll take two units that will attack right... Actually, that is the only thing we can attack. Take one more unit right here, then attack you from two sides. And then we can continue and take this down. So we did this a tiny bit faster. Uh, yeah, we gained additional four days. So what we have to do is take all states, then Central America, and then we have to do manage or manage occupied state and Central America release nation and social conservatives. Perfect. That's one. That's uh, what I want to see. And you are actually to Mexico, but you were not released. So unfortunately we can't do this. Uh, you can't boost popularity of other ideologies and your ideologist popularity can't be boosted. 
Ah, too bad. Then we'll have to do something with Mexico. We'll just have to annex you once again and then release you. And then you're gonna get that province. Cool, cool. Everything will work out then. Uh, let's see. Should we start sending them equipment right now or should we wait a tiny bit? We have enough equipment to start a small land lease right now. Let's send, well, 1,000 every month. Oh god, that's only minus 4. Really? Yeah. Let's instead keep it then. Let's find something better. So, you're gonna continue down. We own this. Alright, can we release someone right here? Um, Costa Rica. Because this should not be ours. This was not our well, original land. Uh, manage subjects. No. Manage occupied territory. Um, what did I say? Uh, Puerto Rico. Right? No, United Provinces of America, and this is... No, no, United Provinces of America. What the hell was I reading? Uh, United Provinces of America, release nation. Uh, Costa Rica and Nicaragua, yes, release. So, social conservatives, good, good, this is what I want to see. Everyone just switching to the right form of democracy. And uh, let's continue. Then Panama, uh, Panama City, I want access through right here. And unfortunate Commonwealth of Canada has that, so uh, this might be a tiny bit of annoying. So should we just strike out Canada right now and retake what we want? I think it's time. So nine divisions right there, and then we probably need some more, well, we will need more troops basically for this. So we're just gonna prepare for this a bit. Let's see, 31 more divisions at least. You're gonna need more artillery, and you're probably gonna need anti-tank guns and more because that's what I'm gonna produce. I'm gonna add more stuff to your divisions too. Uh, let's see, we have infant equipment and support equipment. You are looking kind of fine. So I am think I can add a couple of divisions right here. Uh, let's see, engineering, I want field hospitals. Yeah, it will take a time to fix, but it should be fine. Uh, let's increase this one too. And time to make a bigger military push. Uh, right there. No, not right there, but right there. Right there. No, right there. <laughs> God damn it, annoying provinces. Uh, let's see, 60%, 80% right there. 70% right there. And I think... Um, why 70 and 60? Oh, right, the people have not been fixed everything. All right, this will at least be some. Let's see, you are, you are producing right here. This is two more. Oh, did I do everything to 60% and not 70%? Oh, I might have made, made some mistakes then. We'll have to look into that and see. Yeah, that one is wrong at least. No, maybe it's just one province. Okay, cool. It seems to be 70%. It was just one province I missed. Or calculated wrong. Uh, you can continue right here with artillery and, arti uh, artillery and anti tank. You are basically just gonna gather up against Canada because you took land from me during my civil war and I will never accept that. So we also have to, well, we're probably gonna have to retake some stuff right here. Grab, grab back these islands to under my control and, well, we have a lot of nations to liberate. A lot of them will join and just be destroyed by the Entente. And then we have, oh right. Yeah, yeah, the Entente and the Third International. Both are gonna get, be destroyed one by one. Let's see if the Fre <laughs> let's see even if the Fre uh, Entente is gonna survive this. Because it might just be that they are getting completely destroyed. And everyone will join just, well, the Third International. I'm kinda fine with that, to be honest. Yes, that's one faction to destroy, not two. So, it's our entire fleet right here now. No, we still have a tiny fleet right here. Alright, the newly built ones. Let's see, do we fear anyone in the east? No one we will declare war upon right now. Uh, so let's add a minimal fleet defense right here. Yeah, sure, Canada might have some well, ships right there. It should be fine. Uh, let's add the second best commander. Um, I think you. What what else was this? Ironside, capital ship armor. Oh, cool. And uh, let's just give you Los Angeles as your naval base. So if you just move over there right there, I would have much appreciate it. Okay, now we're at least moving. 
and you need to go around the entire thing yeah well whatever what can you do so no, no national focus we have gone this way very nice uh, 1940 president presidential election uh for all right it was basically just an event all right the event we got before i think uh, let's see what should we do now as first thing yes um, we need to well rebuild america uh, recruit population factor and a new america so basically we need to do all these focuses to be able to grab that one we can't even skip a single one because that one requires all of following that one requires all of following all of following all of following so yeah we need to do all of these let's see yeah then let's just double a double v campaign uh, while many Afro-Americans and Native Americans fought for the CSA, not all did. Plenty more fought for the rightful government and helped freedom and democracy. Thanks to their contribution, we should finally disagree the military and reward them for the service. No need to hold back soldiers who proven their worth at, after all. Yeah. Cool, cool. That, that's awesome. Because that means more men to my army. Uh, I'm so greedy when it comes to manpower and joining my army. Everyone who wants to join, sure. Come along. Unless you're traitors. Traitors will be shot on sight. Let's see. Uh, Marines, we need you. A bit weird that we don't have Marines. Oh, here's that event. So the other one was... Oh, right. The other one was from the other event before it. So now. Presidential election in Price Move Document has stepped down from power and uh, restored democracy. Some thought he would seek to run for office himself, but he declined that. All right. I, I will accept that. Democrats, because he's going to lead the army. In the glorious conquest of course of course he felt like he can't do both both run a democratic campaign and lead the army to glorious victory so that was of course so um a sec down democrats nominated albin v barkley for the republicans and nominated uh, quinton roosevelt who quinton roosevelt whom shall the voters choose uh social liberals 20 percent 40 percent so hmm I kind of want to go for Roosevelt because that's 100 political power, otherwise it is 40. Um, social Democrats party, Social Liberals. So you are allowed to be Social Democrats or Social Liberals. We might switch between these two during the game, but okay. I just have to remember that when invading nation. You're allowed to be Social Democrat or Social Liberals. But yeah, 100 political power, thank you. So, so Quentin Roosevelt. Uh, yeah, cool. The more political power, the more I'm gonna pick you. I'm gonna pick the one with the best stats all the time. Low part of popularity. Ugh. Too bad. Uh, let's get good stability at least. Wait, didn't we have really good stability? Didn't we have very good stability? Maybe we didn't. And it's, and I'm, no, I'm not doing any other Kaiser campaign. Did I get a do double penalty or something? I might have. Oh god, I can't remember. What whatever. It's just gonna be some extra political power we have to save up and fix. Uh, more research speed, please. Yes, please. And let's see. All of these units are very slowly being produced. Yeah, a bit of bigger penalty right now since we're missing so much equipment. Oh right, we don't have any motorized. We don't have a single truck being produced so uh, let's just do this for a second I want at least half on the half of these to be start being produced because we need motorized now once I added field hospital to this army I completely forgot about that yeah we're getting military factories quite quickly now it's still gonna take 273 days for 10 factories but yeah that's for 10 factories for one it's gonna take 26 days and that's almost nothing uh, let's actually move this one up, move you down, and let's see. Uh, you were 80 state. Every 80 state seems to have this already. Oh, here. Here's one. Uh, let's grab that one and just move it up to the top priority. It would be nice if we could just become 100% independent and don't have to trade with anyone. And for that, we need more rubber. Uh, 60, there's one. 70%, there's one. 7% anymore no let's grab a bunch of 60 percent more because that means your infrastructure is soon going to be fixed cool that's your bit that's going to take 65 days until all of these are done let's move one so we have basically 65 days and then everything is done 
uh, that's gonna increase our raw production by quite a bit our own production yeah it's also gonna increase but that's kind of useless we're only doing this for the rubber and that might actually justify us liberating this kingdom of thailand a bit quicker than others that would give us a very cheap trade with them basically since if they're my puppet i will get a large percentage for even less factories so that might justify an aggressive action because it feels like the people of kingdom of thailand has for far too long suffered under the well suffered under well evil hands of the authoritarian democracy we have ne we would never ourselves accept that path <coughs> even in the biggest of crisis situation <coughs> so um yeah we probably need to liberate them and uh, let's actually do that before anything else first of all re secure resources second of all well, second of all, the rest of the world. Uh, oh crap, we can only have 10 divisions right now assigned to this. So uh, yeah, we better have 10 divisions assigned to it. Let's remove a couple more. Oh, that was 10. So let's make a personal invasion of this and let's make it from here to the Kingdom of Thailand. Do you have any kind of fleet? Yes, you actually do. That's bad. I was hoping for you not to have it. That means I have to take my bigger fleet and just do this. Let's switch you over to this front. Mistakes were made. Grab this one. Stop. Control click uh, on a good. We probably need a very good base for all of you. San Francisco, Los Angeles. That's just level five, level three, level one. Okay, I guess I will accept San Francisco. And you. Oh crap! You don't have enough range. Right, we have very bad ships right now. Alright, we will have to fix this later then. Unfortunately, we won't have enough range to actually reach that area. So never mind, never mind. Get back there. We're gonna remove Canada first. It's probably Canada's fault. Blame Canada. Yeah, you should be assigned right there. Why aren't you? Anyway, that so our first synthetic refineries will help us by quite a bit. Fixing our industry. Level 2 weapons, level 2 weapons, good, artillery, artillery, and anti-tank guns, motorized is underway, so we will just start a very small trade with Mexico. Oh right, Mexico is also a puppet. So yeah, one factory for 64. That solves everything. And I was thinking, oh, god damn it, Daniel. Please, look at Mexico, what kind of resources they have. Yeah, you have, well, well, you don't have oil. What the hell? Yeah, Mexico. Yeah, you don't have rubber. Wait, am I trading something stupidly? Yeah, I'm I'm stupid. I'm just stupid. God damn it, Daniel. So instead of actually celebrating and sm I slap my ha I slap my <laughs> hand in the face, a very nice face palm. And now I probably need to do a face palm because I face palm for something that's not a good reason. I will just shut up now. I will just shut up now and accept my fate. Uh, National Focus, a new America. Thank you. So that's going to give us 150 political power, which is very much needed. We're actually losing political power right now. Wait. Do we have some people? Oh. You are actually horrible. No, actually, you're really good, but you're also very horrible. Yeah, I can forcibly switch you out, but that will also be kind of bad. So we, right now we're losing 0 0.10 every single day. Can we fix that somehow? Uh, recovering from the American Civil War. What do you do exactly? Daily political power costs plus 0 0.35. So once we fix it, we will be fine, even with those extra penalties. Seems like we will have to rush that then. But I think I need to... I'm gonna save up some of these 150 points then. So we don't actually start losing. Because you need to be boosted too. The Republicans... Well, you need to be better. Social Democrats, Social Liberals. These are the ones I need. Sure, Social Conservatives 
would be good and nice to have. But since MacArthur didn't want the role, we need to stay at the Republicans or Demo De the Demo uh, Democrats. Uh, no template really for town and tank. Yeah, we, I know, I know. We, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix it actually right now. Yeah, cool. Let's fix that. Very good. So our division is finally starting to shape up a tiny bit. You're still missing tons and tons of equipment. Well, most likely support equipment and motorized, but we are fixing that as soon as we possibly can. We're gaining 27 support equipment every single day, and we're gaining 8 motorized every single day, and that's only at 34% of well production efficiency, when we can have 95%, so it should be fine quite soon in the future. Rubber surplus now suddenly. Come oh right. Did you start to finish? Yeah, you started to finish, so we don't have to trade for it anymore. Very good. And this is actually a good bonus. So we have a surplus of 17 right now, so that's pretty goddamn awesome. Uh, mechanized offensive, very good. So we go much more on infantry right now. This one would be pretty great. Reinforcement rate plus 2%. But still, ga gaining that extra heart attack. We oh wait, wait, we have it right here. Never mind. Then I'm kind of ignoring that one. And because this is the one, organization to all frontline battalions and air support. Well, I'm not gonna care that much. Oh, actually, I should care about it. Yeah, but we're going down this path only for that modifier. All frontline battalions, organization plus five percent. Sure, this is more soft attack and heart attack for the entire army. I don't. We, I think we're gonna have enough. So like someone said in the, sh in the comments, we're gonna bring democracy to the world, one shell at a time. So how long would it take to justify? Oh, retake core stake. 15 days. Nice. And right here, yeah, it's the same thing right there. But 60 days. <sighs> ah, sorry. So it's 60 days right here. So whenever we want to, we can do this. All right, then I don't actually prepare it. Just when we get all our equipment right now, we're gonna bring down Canada and then start defending all of this. And then slowly after that, we're gonna bring in and well, do a massive naval invasion of Europe. And it seems like Germany is only beating us in it, but I'm pretty sure their well, their attempt is gonna be well thwarted, and they're just gonna be thrown back into the sea. Right now, it's my basically my invasion is planned to be so large and so grand. It shouldn't matter what kind of army they have; they should just fall beneath my fleet. So, um, a good idea and a good first step would probably be get this tech for the love of God. Just get that tech. Don't forget about it anymore. When I started talking about it before, I was planning to have it as quickly as possible, and then I forgot about it. Uh, the in the, well. The shape of our nation is finally shaping up a tiny bit. We still have tons and tons, tons to well finish producing. So it's still some left. Still, it's looking better right now. 90 military factories, 132 civilian, an army that is looking better right now, but well, not 100% living. Uh, rebuilding America. Cool. Lots of nice stuff. America rebuilt, and then America reborn. Slowly but steadily, we are fixing America from this horrible, horrible civil war. Well, I think we should get some kind of bonus, maybe, to these all of these focuses, since we went the very peaceful path of just, well... Well, never plundering, never taking f factories, never destroying anything, but we went really the very peaceful path, so it would be nice if I got that back somehow. Or s something similar. Let's see, support co uh, support companies, should we increase right? No, 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 Daniel, 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 landing craft, landing craft, please. Good. <laughs> oh, I was so close to picking something else again. But anyway, um, yeah, this is how, how I'm decided to play Hearts of Iron 4 with, um, well, United States of Democracy. So this is the way, we're gonna jump in, we're gonna take nations and then, well, release them. So they become our, well form of government, so socially conservative, oh actually you are wrong now, right now. I will accept you to being socially conservatives, but everyone else should be either Republicans or Demo Democrats. Otherwise, thank you guys for joining me for this episode, like, comment, subscribe and all nice stuff, and...
I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And bye. Oh crap, I minimized this. Yeah, now. Bye. And bye.